Hey everybody, we're back for Straat Studio Talks episodes number three. It's going to be a special edition today because it's the first time we'll be leaving our Amsterdam city limits to visit Timon de Laat in his studio in downtown Rotterdam. Timon is responsible for Las Ultimas Hojas, not just a quality piece of work from a technical perspective, but it also has a beautiful backstory on humanity. He has another work in our museum as well, but for now, Let's hit the road and roll the Rotterdam. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Timon de Laat. I'm an artist from uh, Rotterdam, the Netherlands, and I paint walls and uh, canvases like you can see here in the studio. We're in the city center of Rotterdam, uh, right across Central Station. It's the place where I work, where I hang my work, where I receive customers. It's like having a home uh, for your artistic side. Nice segue to my following question. Is How it, would uh... you describe <laughs> your creative process? Yeah, so for me, uh, it kind of starts with an interest in, uh, in the world, in humanity, combined with a, a search for freedom, for quality of life. I usually go and travel. Uh, I take my camera, I take photos of people, I kind of use the camera as an excuse to start a conversation with people on the street and that way I kind of have a segue into their life and once I hear a nice story or that stands out, I, I like to use this for, uh, for my body of work. And this exchange of cultures, I know yeah. it's a big part of your work, but yeah. maybe speak on that a little bit more. I realize that if I find a contrast between the location and the person that I'm painting, you can kind of tell a story, take maybe somebody from an indigenous culture and paint them in a place where it's least expected. And, and that really touched me because that related to my sense of travel. You actually have two artworks hanging in our museum, one from two years ago and one very recently painted. Mm -hmm. How do they relate to your body of work? Um, well, they, they both stem from a, a trip uh, when I went to Cuba. The girl is from Havana and uh, the man is from Vinales. Uh, she's a young city girl, that's why she's called Cubana Contemporanea. So it's kind of the new next generation of uh, Cubans. And Las Ultimas Hojas, he is kind of at the far end, uh, let's say the, the last stages of life uh, within his tradition. It was beautiful to paint a piece there without a deadline. I spoke to David and I said like, I would really like to have the time to, to make something, to see how far can I push myself. It was great fun painting there. It was also really nice that the people were visiting and I could kind of explain the process a little bit. Your body of work isn't just individual artworks, they also collectively tell a bigger story, correct? Yeah, that's, that's very true. Uh, so it started off with just painting one person in a different location, uh, paint them in the next place, like I mentioned before. But what happened, it kind of became that all the walls are interconnected with each other and on a bigger scheme, uh, tell a story about humanity, but on an individual level are still a reflection of another place or another person within that situation. What's next for you? What's next for me? Um, well, there's some projects coming up. I'm going to be painting in, uh, in Bonaire. For studio work, I am thinking about developing a new uh, line of paintings, which is still going to be portraiture, but I want to kind of find a connection more between the work outside on the walls and uh, the work on canvas, so I can kind of bring those two worlds a little bit closer to each other. There's going to be a lot of hours here in the studio uh, this year. At least you got the right studio for it. Yeah, yeah. thanks. I'm very happy here. Simon, thank you very much. You're very welcome. It's a wrap for Straat Studio Talk session number three. Subscribe to all our social media channels to make sure you don't miss out on the next one. <laughs>